Good evening, I'm Madison Stacy. Legislation authored by Senator Joe Donnelly and a companion bill sponsored by 5th District Congresswoman Susan Brooks would create a federal task force to combat drug abuse. The force would be in addition to Governor Mike Pence's state-level task force aimed at addressing the heroin crisis. Brooks said it would marshal the efforts of several federal agencies to help identify best practices, including ways to reduce the overprescribing of medication. A Terre Haute man facing charges for knowingly infecting women with HIV made his first court appearance Tuesday. The Vigo County Prosecutor's Office filed six additional charges against Isaiah Bedford for having sexual relations with women, one of whom developed AIDS, and failing to disclose he has HIV. Indiana law requires a person with AIDS, HIV, or hepatitis B engaging in high-risk activity to warn other people about the potential risk to their health. Bedford now faces a total of 22 charges. A National Labor Relations Board modified the definition of employer last week, and businesses and unions across the country are grappling with what the ruling means to them. Indiana University professor Joseph Vargas says it may change how business is done in an economy that relies on temporary and contract workers. One of the things this ruling explicitly said was there's a new labor market relationship or new sets of labor market relationships out there. Our laws are not dealing with them. We have workers who are working uh, long hours for very low pay and because they're working for a temp agency they get no benefits from the companies they work for we really need to look at that relationship and give workers at least some bargaining power to negotiate up in that relationship and we're going to check out the weather tonight it's mostly clear lows in the upper 60s thursday 20 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms for more local news go to wtiunews.org and catch indiana news desk fridays at six